In this video, we're going to try and find the maximum pressure difference in a loud sound, like 120 decibels, which is the sound intensity of 1 watt per square meter, at a frequency of 500 hertz. And the equation we, we need is, of course, that the intensity is equal to the pressure difference squared divided by twice the density of air and the velocity of sound in air. So we're going to rearrange that equation. We're going to multiply both sides by 2 rho v, so we have I times 2 rho v equals the maximum pressure difference squared. And then we're going to take the square root of both sides and turn the equation around, which means the maximum pressure difference in a sound wave of 120 decibels at 500 hertz is equal to the square root of twice the intensity times the density times volume. Now notice here is something very interesting. It doesn't seem like the frequency even matters in this equation. Wow, that's interesting. The only thing that matters is the intensity of sound, the density of air, and the velocity. Frequency is not even important. So we take that as the square root of twice 1 watt per square meter times the density is 1.29 uh, kilograms per cubic meter. And uh, velocity is 340 meters per second. There we go. Now we need a calculator. And so we have 2 times, so 1.29 times 340 equals, and then we take the square root of that, and it's 29.6 pascals. This is equal to 29.6 pascals, which of course is 29.6 newtons per square meter. Now you say, wow, that uh, that's, doesn't seem like a lot because you know that atmospheric pressure, <clears throat> atmospheric pressure is equal to 101,000, 300 pascals, so this is a very small fraction of that, but nevertheless, normally, sound has pressure differences that are just a fraction of a pascal, so now we're talking about pressure differences of 29.6 pascals, which is quite a bit larger, which means that sound with very large intensities, like 120 decibels, which is pretty loud, that's a very loud sound, um, that's what we call the threshold of pain, that's caused by having pressure difference in the air of 29.6 pascals, and that's beginning to put so much pressure on the ears that it's beginning to hurt our hearing. Actually, prolonged exposure to that kind of noise could result in hearing loss. So um, that gives you kind of an idea how much pressure is involved in the differences between the, of course, the pressure regions and the rarefactions in the sound waves. And that's how you do that problem.